Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new game called Auto Must Chef. Now, just from what we can see here, looks like it's gonna be some sort of puzzle strategy uh, game. Something sort of along the lines of Factorio. Let's hop on in and see what's going on in this kitchen. Test site, contract mode, scenario editor. Let's just hop into the campaign. We'll start there. Basic tutorial. Deliver three mills, keep electricity use under 50 watts, and use fewer than 50 ingredients. Okay, let's hop in and see just what's going on. A little bit of loading here, but eh, that's gonna uh, happen with games. I mean, <laughs> you need loading in games to really get everything you want in them. Alright, here we go. <sighs> Sorry about all the yawning, I don't know what's going on. Looks like we just need to prepare a basic hamburger. Well, and we get a budget of 40k. Okay. Plain burger, yeah, that's what I thought. Hello there, fellow human being. Thank you for responding to my advertisement and helping me setting up my new chain restaurant. My plan is to use fully automatized kitchens to cut costs and crush mankind. <clears throat> I mean, to effectively produce wholesome, tasty meals, the kind humans like us would love to digest. Before we start on our first restaurant, we need to prove of the concept. I've rented this test site for us to use. Follow my instructions and let's make sure this business plan of mine is feasible. You can move the camera uh, with the WASD key and cycle between camera positions with Z, I mean X and C. You can also zoom in and out with the scroll reel on the mouse. Let's start by making a very simple kitchen that can only make plain burgers. Start by placing an assembler, a machine that combines ingredients into a finished disc. Click on the assembler or in the parts list over here, and then we put in the marked location. They can be rotated using Q and E. There we go. Now we right click the assembler and select plain burger. Now we click on OK, and that's that. Before we place any more machines, let's look at the recipe to see what we need. Click on recipe. Yeah. Oh, here we go. That burger looks good. My taste sensory, I mean taste buds, are going crazy. So, oh, the recipe calls for a hamburger bun and a cooked patty. But to get a cooked patty, you have to use a raw patty. Okay. Select the dispenser or in the portals and place two of them in the locations he's marked. Okay. Alright, this one is gonna be the buns. And this one will change to be the raw patty. Okay, so now we have a source of raw patties. We're gonna need a grill. Here we go. Perfect. Let's get those ingredients moving. Oop, I didn't do that. There we go. Conveyor belts can not directly feed into a grill or an assembler, so you're gonna need a robotic... Oh, here we go. A robotic arm to move them. Okay. And then, there. So, we need... So, we need to pick up... Uh, cooked patties from the grill and place them into the assembler. Uh, a bug on dumps to pick up anything, so they'll pick up a raw patty as soon as it's placed. So, we need to use a smart arm. 
And L. Okay, so now we have to uh, make it uh, select and pick up the... Uh, here, hold on. Ah, cooked patty. Okay. Now, oh, now we can make a small test run of our kitchen. See how everything works. Let's do this! And now, if we wait. Oh, look, a false patty's going in. And there it goes! Huzzah! We've done it! We've successfully made hamburgers! Haha! <laughs> Success! Congratulations! You helped me achieve the first step in my plan for global domination! <clears throat> By that I mean, of course, dominating of the fast food market! Hold on. Star, I felt like the audio was still a little too loud. Next, we're going to look into making our machines more efficient. Join me again when you're ready. Alright, that was just a tutorial. Well, let's continue on and see what's going on in the order reader tutorial. Ooh, Chinese New Year upgrade update. Huh. We can try that out oh, in a moment. Ooh, excuse me. Failure to save blueprint metadata. Okay, that's kind of strange. Hmm. Looks like we now need to prepare a cheese burger. Oh, look, he's actually changed it a bit. Ah, you're back. I was just converting oxygen to carbon dioxide. And, uh, as we like to do, don't we, friend? It's time to learn about how we can make our kitchens more efficient and so we don't waste ingredients or energy. But first, I need you to finish this kitchen's layout. Its layout is currently its layout is suited for plain burgers, but I need to produce cheese burgers. Click to continue. Okay, first idea, look at the recipe, see what we're gonna need. Yeah. Oh, cheese into a cheese slice. Oh. Well, okay, this recipe requires cheese, which needs to be processed into sliced cheese. It's, now, let's see. Wait, this assembler already has two arms feeding greens in it, which is the maximum it can support. If we are... If we are adding cheese, we need to transport it to the assembler on the same conveyor belt as the burger buttons. The robotic arm dumb that is currently picking up... Yeah, okay, so we can leave that arm the way it is. Let's click on dispensal. Oh. Oop, hold on, turn. There we go. Now, we make you... Cheese. Yes. Now we need a food processor to turn it into a cheese slice. <sighs> <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. So now we just select the cheese burger recipe. Click OK. And that should do it. Let's start it up. How's it actually slicing up the cheese? I mean, it kind of seems to be a waste since it's just taken one slice out of that whole hunk of cheese that goes in. Oh well. But great news! It's a success! Cheese burgers are made. <laughs> this actually does seem to be going good. I mean, you'd probably be able to get them out faster if you removed uh, the 
bit of conveyor belts that were over here and brought all of this just a bit closer to there. But that's just me. By the way, all the, the uh, cheeseburger, yeah, you are just feeding them into an incinerator. Huh. Come on, man, you can actually sell those. It gets another flaw. It will endlessly produce cheeseburgers. Most, what a waste of ingredients and most importantly, electricity. Misuse. Who's oh? Uh, misuse of electrons make me feel sad and angry. Ingredients are costly, being the uh, dispensed, and the grill is always on, even if no one has ordered a cheeseburger. That can't be allowed. We can fix this by place using an order reader to ensure cheeseburgers are prepared only when orders come through. Okay, so now we select this and put it here. Now, we click that and do that. Now that the order reader will detect, detect whenever a cheeseburger order is placed, we can use it to control up to four other machines. Oh, okay. Okay, select do nothing to expand the control. Now we put that to perform action. And there we go. So now we do the same heal. Ah, this is actually kind of smart. I honestly like this. Imagine if some kitchens like that were heal. Oh, and the grill. On while order is pending. So, that. And that's it. And now, we continue. On the left, okay, so these are where the orders will appear. So, when an order for a cheeseburger comes in, and that's when all of these will turn on and send it through. Sim I'll simulate some order, some custom orders uh, simulate. Makes me sound like a machine. How human this. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, here we go, the first order. I guess that means it will only send out uh, one of the ingredients, since it only needs one. Oh, unless more orders go through, just like this. Hmm. Well, I think this is actually going to be a really fun game. I can't wait to play more of it for y'all. And I hope you out there are enjoying it as well. I'll take this time right now uh, to say, hey, well, I'll just be quick and simple. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below for more videos. Now, we're not ending it here just yet. We still got a couple minutes. And so, let's see about playing through the next tutorial. Once this is over, of course, just gonna have to wait. I don't think there's a speed-up button. Unless this arrow does that. Oh, it is a speed-up. Oh, look at that! <laughs> we vastly improved the efficiency of our kitchen. I knew you were the person for this job. I think it's time to start on our first premise. The world won't know what it's about to unfold. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, let's open our first restaurant then, shall we? Let's go to the first restaurant. Now, I will be checking this out, but I don't think I should just jump into that right now. Oh, I still should learn the basics. I mean, yes, I have learned them, but need to test it out. Ten orders. Less than. <sighs> Sorry. And use fewer than 40 ingredients. Prepare hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Okay. The reign of humanity's hunger is about to end. The first kitchen. Here's the plan. We scale up quickly, open numerous kitchens, serve more complex meals as our technology improves. 
but gain the trust of the public, get some coverage, become a popular choice, then when everyone is eating our food, well, you'll have to wait. Let's start simple, offering a cheeseburger and a plain burger after all. We know we can easily produce these. Now we just need to test them on the public and make sure well, it tastes all satisfactory as they look. Okay, so it looks like it's not gonna start yet until this is here. So, let's get in our first assemble. Put that there. Now we need a robotic arm, a dumb one, that's fine. Put that there. Now, I'll, of course, put the bow goes up here. Let's see, arm goes there, then goes the grill, and there goes the other arm, so put that there. Oh, oh. We can possibly put the cheese going here the same way, okay, and then just have uh, buns meet it, like over here. Oh, so, let's actually first go ahead and place down the, the dispensers. Let's put it, yeah, here. That will give. Okay. So, you'll dispense the raw patty. You'll dispense the cheese. And you will give us the buns. Oh, wait, can it only follow one and recipe? Oh, crap. Well, that's a change of plans. And looks like I'll have to double what I was thinking. <laughs> okay. Let's first move this on the heel. And bring this up to heel. Yeah, okay. So now, we need... Uh, a robotic arm dumb veil and one veil. Then we need a robotic arm smart. You'll pick up the cooked patty. Okay, now we put the grill veil and a conveyor belt heel. And that will make this the first. Most plain burger. Perfect. Now, I just sort of copy this and move it down one line. And, and we can make cheese burgers. Just like I planned. Okay. Let's see. Put that there. Okay. The electric grill heel. Convey about the heel. Mm hmm. Put the slice over there. Here we go. Put that there. Now, we put an assembler heel. Now, put you there, you there, and you there. Oh, one veil. Oh. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, now we just need a robotic arm that's smart, but veil. And now, we do this. You'll give us raw patty. You'll give us buns. Oop, oh, I keep left clicking. Mm-hmm. Ah, there it is. Cooked patty. And of course, you'll be making the cheese burgers. So, now, we just put this there. Oh, and that should do it. But, we also want to optimize it. We don't just want to make it, it go continuously. So, we'll put down a one and a read or heel and one read or heel. This one will detect for cheese burgers. This one will detect plain burgers. And now we connect. Mm 
Vom action one time on new auto. Ah, damn it, I keep hitting the wrong button. Let's actually just collect uh, all of them first. Oh, whoops, I have that one on the wrong setting actually. Oh well, I'll change it in a moment. Okay. okay so this is the one for... Uh oh. Looks like our time aims up. So, we're gonna try and finish off this episode uh, real quick. We have an idea of what we're doing, so let's just try, try to go on with it. And playing Boko. Patty, Grill. On while an order is pending. Okay. Now, we connect it into this. Actually, we probably don't even need to connect it to the assembler. Okay, so that should do it for plain patties. So now, we switch this from the cheese bogo and make its connections. A copy of just the other one. And there. Hold on. We're almost there, folks. Okay, now, I'm gonna double check this one. On while, and okay. I, th ooh, excuse me. I think that does it. Let's hop in and see just how this kitchen walks. Of course, we'll go to triple time automatically, so we're not waiting long. <laughs> oh well, that should do it. Yes, it's walking. It's walking. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I think I just realized something. I didn't flip the assemblers back, did I? Oh. Oh no, wait. No, they're right. But why won't they walking? Hmm. Huh. That's strange. I got these all to walk. Oh, whoops. That may be a hey, one reason. <laughs> whoops. I thought I put a conveyor belt there. How do I get rid of something? Hmm. Seems like I actually can't. Whoops. Huh. Seriously, I thought I got... Hmm. Oh well, I guess we just have a spare arm. Okay, uh, it should work now. Got all of these going to heal. Oh, and that's making plane bubbles. Good. Hmm. Let's try again. That should have walked. Seriously, this little robotic arm heal, that extra, it's, uh, kind of pissing me off a little. Hmm. Come on, I know this should walk. I don't know what happened. Okay, we got a couple of for plain burgers and an order for cheeseburger. So it should walk now. Hmm. Oh, I realized it now. Ah, uh, huh. Okay. I didn't. 
Ah, uh, I see now where I messed up. I see now where. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay. Well. Okay. I I've realized my mistake of why it wasn't walking. Is there seriously like no way of just being able to delete this? Oh, there is. It's just the delete key. <laughs> okay, now it should walk. Oh, even. Oh, whoops, hold on. Let's try this now. Uh, no wonder it wasn't walking before. <laughs> oh well, I mean, it's just starting. There we go. Now the orders are going out. Well, that's how you get it. Yeah! Hey, hold on, hold on. What's going on? Hmm. It's picking up the cooked patties from heel. I'll go on heel. So I have the arm. Oh, right. That's the arm that I told the. Whoops. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That should do it. Uh, folks, I'm so sorry. I have no idea why I'm being such an idiot today. Uh, I was messing this up. It's a brand new game and I was screwing it. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can also uh, find this game for purchase on the Epic Game Store and on uh, the Steam mode. Uh, while on Steam as well. So, if you want to play the game as well, yes, go there, tr tr uh, check it out, buy it if you like it, and, and well, and, well, just enjoy. Anyway, folks, hold on one moment. One momento, okay. Anyway, this has been Mass Fox, well, this has just been Fox Plays. That's why I'm leaving off today's video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Or oh, and and well, remember to check out the game. It's actually real fun. And have a good day, pups. <laughs>